Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best smart TVs. Starting at number 5. Roku Plus series. We really have Roku to thank for the modern smart TV platform. Yes, the likes of WebOS and Tizen have been around forever, but Roku made smart platforms a household name with their streaming players. It makes sense then, that the Roku Plus got a spot on our list, even if it's a bit lower than the competition. The Roku Smart Platform is down here not because it's missing features or substantially worse than the competition, but because it's the one that sees the least amount of visual updating year over year. This is very intentional on Roku's part. It wants people who are familiar with the platform not to get confused when they hop between their players and their TV, so both use a very similar interface. While other platforms have marquee billboards on their homepages for new movies and shows, Roku will greet you every time with the same old home screen that you saw close to a decade ago. New sections are added every year or so, but for the most part Roku, and by extension, the Roku Plus Smart TV, are simple, easy to use and pragmatic compared to their showbody competition. Coming at number 4. Samsung QN90C Neo. Once upon a time, Samsung's Tizen was in the conversation for the best smart platform, but then two years ago, Samsung changed the whole platform, and it's, well, not great. It still has lots of great apps, and some ways to stream games over services like NVIDIA's GeForce Now, but it's not nearly as good as it was. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to screencast to it, so when in doubt you can always whip out your phone to find content in a jiffy. If you're a big smart home enthusiast, the other big advantage Samsung's Tizen has is its tie-in with SmartThings. You can control your entire home using the SmartThings interface on Tizen, which is great if you're at home on the couch and want to keep an eye on your security cameras. As for a TV that works great with Tizen, consider going for the Samsung QN90C. It's not Samsung's top model, you can see a pattern here, but it's the one that offers the best performance for your dollar. At number 3. LG C4 OLED. Our love for the LG C3 OLED can't be left unstated, but since the launch of the new LG 2024 TV lineup, it's hard not to keep your eyes glued to the C3's successor, the LG C4 OLED. With its sleek OLED panel in tandem with a jaw-dropping 1.8201 Delta E for color volume, the LG C4 OLED might well be one of the best TVs to release this year. Still, despite its grand specs, the C4 has some incredible competition from the likes of Sony and Samsung. Using its MLA panel gives it that raw edge where it counts and it sports some serious HDR brightness at 1049 nits. Gamers will love the LG C4 OLED the most, though, thanks due in large part to its 9.2 input latency in boost mode. You also won't have any trouble finding a wide swath of content to choose from as WebOS is among the most beloved TV interfaces, proving the C4's worth as one of the best smart TVs for streaming. Number 2 of my list Hisense U8K Yield Of course, the Sony A95L isn't the only TV that uses Google TV as its smart platform. In fact, there are a number of TVs from Hisense and TCL that use them, too. One of the absolute best, though, is the Hisense U8K, our current pick for the best TV of 2024 due to its perfect balance between price and performance. Like other Google TVs, the Hisense U8K offers all the major streaming services and comes with features like Chromecast built-in for easy casting. Its HiView processor is a little slower than Sony's Cognitive XR processor, Hence why the U8K is down at number 2 instead of at the top of our list, but the moving around the interface is still relatively snappy. In terms of performance, the U8K uses a mini LED panel with full array local dimming lighting. This enables even better contrast and higher peak brightness, which is great if you plan on streaming shows and movies in HDR. For color saturation, the U8K covers 80% of the REC 2020 color space making it one of the most colorful TVs on the market right now. As far as streaming TVs are concerned, it's really at the top of its class, especially for the price. And number 1. Sony Bravia XR. 
There is no TV better suited for content streaming than the Sony A95L OLED. Not only does it have the most well laid out smart platform with Google TV, but it has a processor that makes navigating said interface lightning fast. The sheer selection of apps is fantastic, and you can mirror your smartphone thanks to both Chromecast or Apple AirPlay support. As a TV for streaming services, the A95L is awesome. But as a straight-up TV, it's even better. This set, which sits at the top of Sony's expansive TV lineup, unites the industry's defining technologies and Sony's own groundbreaking processing and picture enhancements to deliver superlative performance in every area. And our own test results back this up. In terms of color accuracy, the A95L covers a record-setting 89.41% of the REC 2020 color standard and tops out at around 1,200 nits in peak brightness. Both its motion processing and 4K upscaling tech are second to none in the industry, and its acoustic surface audio plus technology makes this one of the best-sounding TVs Sony's ever made. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.